Well, it's that time of year everyone seems to be too busy from feasting to shopping to visiting. Expectations may be just too high. Dr. Victoria Kelly is here with how to handle the stress of this season. So uh, a lot of stress, uh, folks are out shopping even today. I know. <laughs> right after having a big meal yesterday, <laughs> they're right. out early. Some, uh, maybe they haven't slept all night. You I know, know. So yeah. uh, let's talk about this because this is something that a lot of people are dealing with. I mean, yes. uh, debt is huge. I just uh, read a story, 48 million are in debt from last season. Oh yeah, that that is completely out of control. Yeah, but if you think about it, about 40% of the American population finds the holiday holiday uh, season stressful. And I, in my opinion, that's an underestimation. <laughs> um, but then interestingly enough, for those who don't find it stressful and they actually really enjoy it, even then about 25% have like a post-holiday depression. Wow. So both of those are important to know how to manage um, going into this holiday season. So Dr. Hilly, let's talk about uh, why is the stress there to begin with and then mm -hmm. let's handle uh, how you can cope after that. Yeah, I mean, the, the interesting thing is your brain doesn't really even know that the stress is a social construct, right? It still just notices what's going on and that you are getting stressed and will react the same way. Um, so often our sleep will get disrupted, uh, we'll just be at a baseline with a higher level of anxiety. Yeah, so how do you handle mm -hmm. handle the stress uh, with the holidays? I mean, because uh, folks yeah. are going through it, they're trying to buy things and they're maybe anxious right. about, is, is this the right gift for a person, right? So how do you yeah. manage that stress and deal with it? Well, I think the, the this is probably a good timing because yesterday you had an idea, you know, of what things were like. So basically, be prepared. Take, a stock, take stock of how yesterday went, how mm -hmm. Thanksgiving or whatever, um, social functioning that you went to, and like, how did I go? How did I feel about it? Was I was I happy? Was I content? Or was there something awkward that I want to change? You know. So basically, if you reevaluate how it went, then you can decide what to do for maybe the Christmas season coming up. Things that you want to keep the same, uh, things that you might want to change. So this is like a perfect time to evaluate that and decide how you're going to set a boundary in place for the next uh, get together. So let's talk about expectations. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that people, maybe they set expectations a little too high? Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest stressors is like, you know, we see these perfect, you know, uh, holidays and on Facebook and social media, all these wonderful posts. But the reality is, it is whatever you make it. So um, I definitely encourage the people that I talk with to just take it easy, be practical. Um, you know, there is absolutely no need to go overboard. Um, so be practical with what you realistically can do and prioritize. Now, that may seem a little obvious, like, okay, the, the gifts or the turkey or whatever it is, but what I'm really referring to is prioritize yourself. So we only have 100% of energy. Right, and so you got to figure out how you want to spend that. Yeah, um, and, and something else too, uh, energy, time, mm -hmm. right? So uh, how can people time things out? Because yeah. there's so many stresses uh, during this short period of time. Folks mm -hmm. are running and gunning, just trying to yeah. get everything done. So uh, how can uh, they plan things properly? Yeah, I think really it does come down to budgeting. And if you figure out what your priority is, you can budget better. So, you know, in the December, often there's the holiday Christmas party for work, for one side of the family, for the other side, for friends. And it gets so overwhelming. So the first thing is just deciding what you're gonna budget your time on. Um, and then after that, whatever time that you do spend at a functioning, uh, at, at a social function, you know, budget about twice that amount of time to recover. So if you go to a party and it's like three hours, you wanna make sure that you allow yourself to kind of be quiet, chill out, relax uh, for at least six hours, you know, afterwards. Nice, so really uh, good things to kind of wind down mm -hmm. because this time can be very stressful for it a can. lot of people. So yeah. thanks so much, really appreciate all